If words don't explain it, maybe this will. Now these 6.8 SBC rounds we're testing today are from Stanwin Armory. Stanwin Armory is loading these brand new down at their shop in Texas. They hand inspect every single round that comes off of the manufacturing line, making sure you get high quality every single time with match grade ammunition. They're using brand new Hornady brass as well as brand new Hornady SST rounds. Now when tested out of a 16 inch barrel, the muzzle velocity of the 6.8 SPC is coming out around roughly 2,500 feet per second. The rifle we're using today is from Modern Outfitters. This is their MC6 rifle system, extremely lightweight. They make amazing stuff down in Modern Outfitters. You gotta go check them out. Now the optic we have mounted on top of this MC6 rifle is the Vortex Razor HD Light Hunter. Now this round is very accurate, especially when it's matched up with a rifle system like the Modern Outfitters MC6, with four of the five shots coming in under one MOA grouping at 100 yards, and three of the five shots coming in less than a half MOA. Now the SST, or the Super Shock tip of this round, is supposed to have amazing terminal effects once it impacts its target, dumping most of its energy very fast. All right, let's just jump right into it. We're at 10 yards, so 30 feet. We got two stacks of ballistic gel down there, plenty of real estate to shoot at. Let's see what happens in bear gel first, see how this round performs at 10 yards. Granted, I know this round's gonna be used at much further than 10 yards, you know, 100, 200, 400. And if this goes well, we'll maybe do a second video. If you guys like that idea, let me know in the comment section and we'll get into it. So let's start shooting. Stanwin Armory, 120 grain SST round. See what happens. I've never seen this in gel, so I'm excited. All right. See what it looks like. Damn. We have good penetration. It's getting roughly around that 20 to 21 inch mark. It just creeped into the second block. Good expansion, doing what the SST round does, which mushrooms out. Looks just like a mushroom. Getting a little bit of jacket fragmentation, but overall the mass of the round is staying together and it's mushrooming out in that lead center. The initial impact you can see in high speed, boom, dumps all the kinetic energy within the first 12 inches of ballistics gel and then trails out the other side. So let's see if the consistency is there. Let's go two shots in a row. <laughs> wow, not only are we getting consistency within a half inch of itself, but it looks to be expanding perfect. A little deformation because it's, you know, lead and the jacket's pulling away and we're getting fragmentation of the jacket and a little bit of lead. Permanent wound cavity is amazing in the first 10 inches in the block and it still travels 21 inches. So let's see if that consistency is still there when we shoot it through meat. All right, so one of my favorites, the good old pork butt. Some <laughs> places I buy this, it just says pork butt on the front and I get a kick out of it, but it's a pork shoulder and there's a bone inside of it. It's the shoulder section. So let's throw it in front of the gel and see what happens. Pork butt roast. The bone is right here, all the way down to there. Shoot about right there. I flipped that front gel block around so we'll get a brand new permanent wound cavity beforehand. Here we go. <laughs> Judging by the reaction of the pork butt, I'm guessing it went well. <laughs> cameras are covered. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll do, pig. <laughs> uh, if words don't explain it, <laughs> maybe this will. That's a 20 inch long gel block and it's big, it's heavy, and it's bubbling out well past the size of a basketball. I mean, well past that size. And obviously, even through the bone, which is now hanging off. I think that speaks volumes. When Hornady says super shock tip, 
That's what you're getting with these SST rounds. That's what's going to happen internally on any animal you shoot, which is going to dump all the kinetic energy into their lungs, exploding through their heart, and they're going to drop, boom, dead right there. And I know a lot of you are like, oh my god, that's so inhumane. No, what's inhumane is when you shoot an animal and it doesn't die for hours and it runs away and you never catch it and it dies slow, painful death. If you're going to hunt something, you want to have a good, clean kill, something that's going to impact that animal and drop it where it stands or as fast as possible. Now, the SST round, like I said, it is made by Hornady, but Stanwin Armory loads these rounds with new brass. Not only are they paying more close attention to each round that goes out in their box than Hornady would because they do it in mass production. No offense whatsoever to Hornady, it's just they're a bigger company and they have to produce a lot of bulk, which means quality control sometimes slips. With Stanwin Armory, you're getting guys hand inspecting them before they leave. So fantastic job by Stanwin Armory loading these up. Also big shout out to Modern Carbine, very, very light. It's hard to beat, especially when you're getting penetration and power like this through a 6.8 round that's gonna perform like a 308, yet you still have very little recoil of this gun. As you can see in the high speed when I shoot, it's just, the recoil impulse is next to nothing. Most modern AR-10 platforms are going to be running in that 9-pound range dry, without an optic, without a suppressor. I like putting all my effort into making these videos and keeping them high quality, and I hope you appreciate that. I'll see you guys next time. Later.